Let's start with the IAR filter design. So here, this unit is split into three major halves. One is design or filter. Second one is conversion of filter into digital filter. Why? Because this whatever filter we design uh, will be in the form of analog. So we need a method to convert from analog to digital. And the third part is structures of IAF filter. So first uh, let us concentrate on uh, converting a filter from analog to digital. So we will be concentrating. We will be concentrating on the second part. So for conversion, we have uh, three methods. Number one is approximation of derivatives. Number two is bilinear transformation. Number three is impulse invariant. So uh, let us go with the first method, approximation of derivatives. I'll call as AOD. So in approximation of derivatives, it's a very simple method. So here, wherever you find S in the given equation, replace S with 1 minus z inverse by t. So for example, if uh, h of s is given as 1 by s plus 2, then the solution will be like this. h of z is equal to 1 by 1 minus z inverse by t plus 10. So I have just replaced s with 1 minus z inverse by t. And uh, here uh, t is the unknown term and uh, you can take t as 1 second. Whenever the value for t is not given you can take it as 1 second. So substituting t is equal to 1 we will get 1 by 1 minus z inverse plus 10. So it is again equal to 1 by 11 minus z inverse. So the final answer is h of z is equal to 1 minus 11 by z inverse. So this is the answer. And uh, in second method, second method is called bilinear transformation. Here, Wherever you find S, replace S with 2 by T into 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse. So let us take the let us take a similar problem again. Uh, consider H of S, which is given as 1 by S plus 16. So here, replacing S with this particular equation, we will get 1 by 2 by t plus sorry 2 by t into 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse plus 16. So we have replaced s yes with the corresponding equation. Here we can consider t as one second as I stated earlier. So this equation will become 1 by 2 into 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse plus 16. If you simplify again, you will get 1 by 2 minus 2 z inverse plus 16 by 1 plus z inverse, which can be further simplified as 1 by 2 minus 
2ZMS plus 16 into 1 plus ZMS whole data by 1 plus ZMS which is again equal to 1 by 2 minus 2ZMS plus 16 plus 16 ZMS and we can take this 1 plus Z inverse to the numerator so this will become 1 plus Z inverse so here the final equation is 1 plus Z inverse by 16 plus 2 18 18 plus 14 Z inverse so that is H of Z Okay, next method is um, impulse invariant. In this method, whenever you find the equation in this format, 1 by s minus pk, it can be replaced as 1 by 1 minus e power pk t into z inverse. So, let us see an example. Where h of s is given as 1 by s plus 2. So this equation can be written as 1 by s minus of minus 2. So this equation is in the format of 1 by s minus pk, the same above format. So for conversion, we have to replace this particular equation with this particular equation. So here the value of minus 2 is pk. So s minus pk. This equation can be replaced as 1 by 1 minus e power pk. The value for pk is minus 2 here. Minus 2 into t z inverse. Again uh, we can take t as 1 second if it is not given or if it is not specified. So t is equal to 1 second. This equation become 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2 into z inverse and uh, you can use the calculator to find the value for e power minus 2 and you can substitute in this equation as I don't have a calculator now I am stopping here so this is h of z okay uh, let us see another example for impulse invariant method As I stated earlier, uh, whenever you find uh, the equation in this format, 1 by s minus pk, it can be replaced as 1 by 1 minus e power pk into t z inverse. Sometimes uh, the given problem may not be in this uh, format. So in such cases, uh, we have to convert the uh, given problem into this format before applying this uh, solution. So let us see a problem here h of s is equal to 1 by s square plus 5s plus 6. Uh, in this case, uh, we don't have this equation, we, we don't have the given problem in the required equation format. So first we have to convert this equation into this format and then we have to apply the transformation. So uh, taking roots for this quadratic equation, uh, 5 and 6 so if you add 2 and 3 you will get 5 and if you multiply you will get 6 so the roots are plus 2 is plus 3 so this is the equation this is the roots for the given equation again uh, we have 1 by s plus 2 into s plus 3 which is not in this format we can apply this uh, equation only when the given equation is standalone. So here we have s plus 3 in multiplication so we cannot apply. So in order to apply this particular equation we have to take partial fraction for this. So if you take partial fraction it will become a plus s plus 2 plus b by s plus 3 and if you solve for a and b uh, we will get a equal to 1 and b equal to minus 1. So here this equation will become 1 by s plus 2 plus minus 1 by s plus 3. So now we have the 
equation in the required format. So we can write this equation as 1 by s minus of minus 2 plus minus 1 by s minus of minus 3. So finally uh, we can convert into 1 by 1 minus e power pk and the value for pk is minus 2 here so minus 2 into t z plus plus minus 1 by 1 minus e power minus 3 t z inverse since the value for pk is minus 3 here and uh, we can take t as 1 second so the equation will become 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2 into z inverse minus 1 by 1 minus e power minus 3 into z inverse so that is h of z you can use the calculator to find the values for e power minus 2 and minus 3 and you can substitute here